Hey guys, today's video for those of you who have a DJI drone and all of a sudden the battery stops charging for it. I have a couple drones here that I had these problems with. This problem actually happens because the battery has been sitting for a while and you never charged it and it went below the certain safety level that the battery just set a permanent error code in it and it won't take any charge. So if your batteries haven't been sitting for too long, you might be able to just reset the error code, charge them up to an acceptable level, and then it will naturally go into the normal state. I'm not sure if it will work for uh, the batteries that I have here because they've been sitting in my basement for quite a while, I think at least a few years, and I haven't used them, but I will try it anyways, and uh, we'll see what happens. This one will not charge at all, and the charger shows this red LED. They also have uh, batteries for the DJI Mini too. So, and you, you'll see one of these batteries also not good. All it does, it, it blinks sometimes, indicating an error in the battery. So first what we need to do is we need to erase the error code inside these batteries we have to connect it to the computer and use a special software. To uh, connect them, I'm gonna be using this interface board that is CP2112. And I got it on eBay for like five bucks. I'll put some links in the description for it. You will only need uh, a few uh, pins on this board. Uh, you can technically solder wires right to the board but it's easier to use the header pins. Battery pin out for the three wires you need to connect to the interface board is available in the help section of the software. This is my setup over here. I have a power supply, I have the battery connected to the power supply and connected to the CP2112. Important thing to mention that these batteries, the Mavic Mini battery, has a different nominal voltage. This one nominal voltage is 7.7 .7 volts, whereas Mavic Air 2 has a nominal voltage of almost 12 volts. I believe it's 11 and a half or something. So the maximum charge voltage for this one is around 13 volts, and this one is only around 8.8 .8 volts. So you have to be careful when selecting the voltage on your power supply, connecting it to the battery. Some people were able to connect the bad battery to existing good battery and kind of in parallel, and that worked. Uh, I'm gonna start the screen recording and show you what you need to do with the, with the software here on your computer. Okay, so right now, uh, we're gonna start this uh, DJI battery killer as an administrator. Then we click on connect. So it says the device uh, opened and configured. I believe it has something to do with connection to CP2112. Communicate with the battery. You can click on the read info and you see that uh, it's able to read some info from the battery. So it's connected to it and it's able to read the data and uh, the voltage of this battery is 5.2 volts basically it's way below its nominal voltage and um, that's the reason why it's not uh, it's not charging at this point i'm not sure if we're going to be able to fix this battery so next thing what you need to do to fix it if it will be able to fix you click on unseal then you click on unseal 2 Next thing you need to do is to clear PF2. And uh, let's see what happens. Clear PF2 success. Now we can reset the chip. And the chip reset was successful as well. At this point, this battery should start charging. So let's uh, disconnect it. Uh, let's put it into the charger. And I think the problem we have right now is because this battery voltage is so low, 
it's uh, not able to just reset itself. But uh, let's try what we can do with this battery. All right, so here we got this Mavic Mini 2 battery connected. I'm gonna take a pictures of uh, which wires connected to what. You connect to the interface port. So it is the info of the battery. So design voltage is 7.7 and the actual voltage is 6.7 volt. So it's one volt below the, below its nominal value. So I think we might be able to fix it by just unsealing it, unsealing it again, clear PF, and uh, clear PF successful. Then we reset the chip. And uh, now let's try plugging it into the charger. But then plug this one in. As you can see right now, this battery is charging fine. It will take some time to charge it to a full capacity. So make sure you charge your batteries often and fly your drone often to make sure you can avoid these situations.